What started as a soccer game ended Wednesday night with fans chasing rival fans with rocks, knives and flares. Many were crushed to death and 74 people lost their lives. But it's not over. The chaos continues as protests against the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces erupt. The outrage of the demonstrators was targeted toward officials and the lives that were lost at the soccer match. As a result of the mayhem, tear gas canisters flew in the air as people were seen being carried away from the area on motorbikes as ambulances raced to the scene. Speculation continues to brew about how the riot that killed so many happened in the first place. Some have even suggested that the police allowed the riots to happen as an act of revenge against the Ultras, who was one of the teams playing in the soccer match. Social chaos in Egypt only continues to grow, showing characteristics of a post-revolution. Sally Turner, IB Times TV.